If you're tired of using claw code in terminal, well, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly a tool that can help you to visualize this in a Kanban board that keeps track of task by task, running multiple agents running at the same time and follow the spectrum of development here, which will start to do the planning before it started the implementation and the QA. Not only that, you can be able to have multiple tasks running at the same time with multiple different clock code sessions. And moreover, there's also the roadmap where we can be able to do a compare analysis based on the application that we have and also generate ideas using AI and be able to visualize the context from memory, as well as manage the work trees, the Git pull requests, MCB servers, all in one single desktop applications visually inside of a graphical user interface like this. So with that being said, in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to set this up on your local machine and how we can be able to use this to build our applications using AutoClock rather than using the terminal in the clock code. So with that being said, if you're interested, let's get into it. All right, so before we jump in, a quick intro for those who are new here. My name is Eric and I have spent years as a senior software engineer at companies like Amazon, AWS, and Microsoft and I have started this YouTube channel to share everything I have learned along the way, from AI encoding to automations, Web3, career developments, and more, all broken down into practical tutorials that you can actually follow. So if you're ready to level up, make sure to check out my YouTube channel and hit that subscribe button. Now let's get back to the video. All right, so to get started, first thing first, we're gonna to navigate to AutoClaw. Here you can see that this is the repository. And to get started, first thing first, we're gonna download the stable version based on your operating system. And because I'm using Mac, I'm just gonna use this version right here to download this on my local machine. All right, so once we have the AutoClaw here fully installed, this is what the application looks like. So right here, you can see that we have our Kanban board. And right here, you can see we have our different columns for different status for our developments. And to open a new project, simply I click on the plus sign. And here I can open existing, or creating a brand new project from scratch. But for my case, I'm just gonna open an existing project, which is called the Bookkeeper Applications. And here you can see that these are all the columns that we have for different status of our development workflows. So we have our in-progress, AI review, planning, all kinds of things. Now, in terms of auto cloud, what we can do here is that we can click on this plus sign right here, which will basically create a task based on what we're gonna do for this project. So for example, I'm gonna show you what the project will look like right now, and I'll show you what's the problem and how we can be able to use auto cloud here to solve this. Now, to navigate to the bookkeeper application, this is what the application looks like after I run it. And you can see that this is the dashboard where we can keep track of our expense for our business. There's also a way for us to keep track of our receipts, our bank statements, and we can also be able to match each receipt with the right transaction from a bank. And what we can do here is that I wanna improve this page right here where we have our day filter our cards for keeping track of our status there's also the auto match the match here also the filter so there's five items where user have to scroll all the way down to see the entire table so what I want to do here is I want to trigger the front-end design skill and also the spectrum development here to basically plan out exactly how we're going to restructure this page to basically make a user experience here much more better for this match transaction page so in this case, I'm just gonna navigate back to the auto cloud and here you can see we have our plus sign for planning and here we can be able to describe what exactly we want to improve for this task. So here, I'm just gonna come back here and I'm gonna take a screenshot of this and basically I'm just gonna drag this screenshot into the prompt. And then what we're gonna do here is I'm just gonna simply describe the issue on how we're gonna fix it. So in this case, I'm just gonna navigate over to the application here is basically my prompt. So I'm gonna say that based on the current transaction page, there's the day range, the cards for the stats, the autocomplete, the match slider, and also the filter, where there's five sections for user to scroll all the way down to see the entire match transaction table. So what I wanna do here is I wanna trigger the front end design skill here to basically clean it up a bit and see how we can be able to make the user experience here much more better. So pretty much that's my problem. I'm just gonna paste it in the description. And here I'm just also gonna change the task title. So exactly what we're gonna put for this entire task. So we're just gonna say improving the match transaction page. And if we were to scroll down, there's also the agent profile on exactly how we want agent here to perform, to perform this task. Is it a complex task? Is it a well-balanced optimized task? So in this case, for example, if it's a complex task, we're just gonna use the Opus 4.5 with the ultra thinking. So I'm just gonna give it a complex task and see how it works. Uh, there's also, we can be able to change the model depends on the face. For example, if we were to click on the customized configurations, you can see that for spec, planning, coding, we can change the model. We can also change the thinking level, like medium, low, basically try to save up some credits based on some stage that we have, right? Maybe in the coding here, we might not want to have high stage for thinking. We can change that up. Uh, there's also required human review before coding. So after it has done the spec and planning, it can be able to have human here to review this before it started the coding. But I'm just gonna leave it unchecked here and basically have Clawco here to complete it 
for the planning, development, and QA. So right here, you can see we have our task created. And what we have to do here is that if I want to create more, I can just simply just click on the plus sign. It will basically create more tasks. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to have it to start a task. Here, I'm just going to click on start. And you can see that currently it's doing the planning for this entire task that we have created. So in this case, you can see that if I were to click on this, I can be able to see that currently it's in progress. And it also created a feature branch. This is the branch name on exactly where this change is going to be uh, located, right? Where this change is going to be performed. It's going to create a separate branch for this. There's also logs, files, subtasks. We can be able to see the logs. So for example, for currently, you can see it's doing the planning. So before we have to do everything, right? See everything in the command line interface. Right now you can see that we can be able to see the entire planning, the entire logs with different colors and be able to see exactly what is Clocko currently doing on this particular task. So it's really easy for us to track with this UI interface right here. So in this case, let's wait for a bit until it fully completes the build. But before we do so, I wanna give a quick shout out to the sponsor of this video, TestBright. TestBright is an AI agent built specifically for software testing. And with the release of the TestBright MCP, you can now use it directly inside your coding IDE. So cursor, windsurf, Claude code, and more. Setup is super simple. You just add the configuration in your MCP settings and you're good to go. What I really like about TestBright is that it doesn't blindly run tests. It first reads through your entire code base, understands the documentation, and validates the results your AI agents produce. It automatically generates a test plan from your PRD, creates test cases, ensures proper test coverage, and all of that without any manual input. From there, it executes the tests and sends detailed reports back to you, clearly showing what's broken and what needs attention. Most coding agents today average around 42% accuracy. But with TestBright MCP, teams have been able to boost feature delivery accuracy up to 93%. So if you're interested in checking it out, you can watch the video I made on it or click the link in the description below for more details. Back to the video. All right, so now eventually you can see that we have our task fully completed and is ready for human review. And then what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna run the application and this is what the application looks like right now after it has redesigned the entire MASH transaction page. So if I were to select maybe like the last 30 days or something, and here you can see this is the date range, we have our icon here. So now we don't have all those five sections uh, have to scroll all the way down to see the table. Now we can see the table right away. We can see the all categories. We can see all the transaction categories. You know, what are the categories we might have? We might have also the payments. We have to download. We can be able to select different columns. We can be able to do the pagination, refresh, all those kind of things, right? And here you can see this represents how many transactions, how many receipts, how many transactions, how many match. And currently we have eight unmatched receipts. And you can see that we don't have any transactions so far. So you can see that it's much more condensed, much more shorter. And if I want to learn more about for each receipt, I can simply just click on this info card and I can be able to see the entire receipt details for when it was purchased, what is the category, what's the payment method, when is the location, what was the item that was purchased. We can be able to see this very accurately. So you can see that the overall system here is much more concise, much more shorter, very easy for us to use. And of course, if I want to change the date here, for example, like this month, you can see that it changed the drop down bar as well as the day range as well. And it's able to know that based on the current date. Okay, so it's really cool. I can also be able to click on refresh and be able to see the animation, be able to see the loading here, render on the page. So overall, you can see that's pretty much how we can be able to use it to complete a feature in AutoCloud. So now what I want to show you here is the additional features that AutoCloud comes with. For example, I can also click on this task and request for additional changes. And once that's done, I can also request for like creating a pull request, check the conflict with the main branch, and pretty much that's how it works. So these are the Kanban feature, and I want to show you the agent terminal. You can also be able to spin up multiple terminals running at the same time inside of the auto claw right here. So right here, you can see we have four claw code sessions open, and I can also have four terminal sessions or more. Total, you can have up to 12 terminals running at the same time uh, inside of this auto claw applications inside of this user interface. So it's much more easier to manage. You can have multiple parallel claw code agents running at the same time, performing different tasks, right? You can also expand this, collapse this, invoke all cloud, and also create a new terminal sessions and so much more. Uh, another feature that I really like is the insights. So while you have the clock here completing a task for you, you can also have the insights here to basically ask any questions about your code base, right? Maybe what is the architecture of this application? What are some suggestions on how to improve the code quality, right? So you can be able to have an interaction here, similar to like a chat GPT, basically have context about the projects and try to ask any questions about that, right? And you can be able to change the model here. If it's like complex task, if it's more a balanced, like Sonnet 4.5, right? You can change the agent profile right here to have a conversation. Now, the other feature that I really like is the roadmap feature where we can be able to have AI agent here to do a competitor analysis, to do a market research on exactly what are the competitors out there and what is the current state 
state of application and what are the features that we're going to add into our current state of application to make it much more competitive. For example, what it does first is that it's going to first try to spend some time reading through the current code base, try to understand the current project type. And then it's going to go out there like app store, forums, and different places on the website to basically try to explore, okay, what are the competitors that are out there, like similar application like ours, and try to see what are some features that we can add onto our application. So right here, you can see these are the must have applications features like the technical depth, like the API relimiting, and also the duplicate detection for receipts and transactions. And then there's also the nice to have, like for example, we can also have our smart category learning. So while we in introducing more receipts into our app, application in our database, we should have a smart category learning to automatically categorize based on the receipts that we receive, right? There's also the enhanced matching algorithm, the uh, clear sync, and also the Google Drive, or in this case, the Google Drive Dropbox S3 cloud storage imports. So we can also be able to group them into phases, right? So which we, which we can be able to have them complete phase by phase, or we can also be able to stick to the Kanban board if you like that way better. Uh, there's also the all features where we can get all the features, all the tickets, all the tasks that we're going to choose from for uh, all the things that we're going to improve into our application. So pretty much that's how we can be able to use the uh, roadmap feature here to improve our applications, have a competitive advantage over what we have in the market. There's also like ideation. So let's say if you run out of idea on how you can be able to improve your application, you can actually be able to have AI here to generate a bunch of feature ideas for your projects. For example, like different projects, like different code or different like UI, UX, or documentation, security, or performance, right? It can be able to generate different ideas for all those kind of categories, right? So what we can do here, let's say we're trying to go for like UX, UI. One of the cool ideas that I generate here is the add a undo toast alert for destructive actions. So let's say if users successfully delete an operation, right? And we maybe we should show a toast alert notification with a undo button so that a user can be able to reverse the action that they have done for around five seconds. Uh, there's also additional options like breadcrumb navigations or adding a tool, uh, tool tips for like icons. And simply all we have to do here is click on task and click on convert to auto build task. And we'll basically start to you know implement them inside of our campaign board. So pretty much that roadmap and also ideations, those are really cool features that auto claw come with. Not only that you can be able to use that to do generate ideas, you can also see where you can be able to improve that. Uh, there's also the MCB server overview where you can be able to add additional MCB servers onto your applications because currently we only have context seven and gravity memory. We can also be able to add additional MC servers onto our claw code. In this case, by simply just add a custom server right here type in the name and or the HTTP request and be able to add your uh, uh, MC server right here, okay? Uh, there's also the work trees where we can be able to see all the branches that we have currently available, like the main branch and also the feature branch that we have. So usually you have to do this in terminal, like get branch to see all the branches that you have. But now you have a more visualized way to see, okay, these are the branches that we currently have. We can create a pull request and basically delete a branch visually inside of a cloud, auto cloud uh, user interface. All right, so pretty much that's it for this video. And in this video, we went over how auto cloud works, how we can be able to spend multiple sub agents to basically complete a task, task by task, uh, or multiple tasks at the same time with different status, with a Kanban board, and also how we can be able to use the ideations, how we can be able to generate the roadmap to, to basically do the competitive analysis. There's also the insights, how we can be able to talk to the cloud agents here while cloud agent here basically completing tasks uh, in the Kanban board, right? So pretty much that's what we went over in this video and uh, make sure I'll attach the link in the description for the repo in the description below so that you can check it yourself. And pretty much that's what we covered in this video. And if you do find out in this video, please make sure to like this video, consider subscribing for more content like this. But with that being said, I'll see you in the next video.